Hello, my name's Ralph Shattuck. What I'm going to do today is demonstrate the effectiveness of BG products. We're going to start using our cleaning products, 105, 106, 108, 109. We're going to show the demonstration with product number 109 because this one will cover all of the soft areas that 105, 106, 108 cover, but we're also going to do the hard deposits that form inside an, a, an engine around the rings. These are hard carbon deposits, so we need a different formulation from the 105, 106, 108. Okay? <clears throat> what I need for this demonstration is a can of product, obviously. We're going to use the 109. Okay? I'm going to need a test tube stand with a test tube, clean test tube. A plate to demonstrate the products okay, with two bearings. A torch or a heat source of some sort. I like these small ones because they're easier to control the temperature coming out of it. A magnet to remove the bearing from the liquid and a slops. We obviously need that to pour away the old fluids. So make sure you're well prepared before you start on any demonstration. Okay, so what I want to do first is start with 109. This is our compression restoration formula. And this demonstration shows how 109 effectively cleans up an engine with soft deposits and hard deposits. The demonstration we're going to do is it just as effective for 105, 106, and 108, the quick clean versions, but the quick clean does not work on the hard deposits that build up around the rings on the engine. So what I've done today is I've taken two bearings here. They are coated in tar and oil sludge. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean one of them using 109 so that you can do a comparison between the two. Is that okay? Okay, pretty straightforward. So we take one of the bearings, and I've picked the dirtiest one out of the two, and put it in here in this test tube. No, notice I always turn it on an angle so that I don't suddenly drop it through the bottom. Okay, and it reappears there. You learn these things from having made mistakes yourself. Okay, and you will make plenty. So what I'm going to do now is add about two fingers of 109 to the mixture. Okay? Just a little like that. But don't forget, 109 is very concentrated and will work in an engine that's normally about five liters, five quarts of fluid. Okay? Now, 109 does not work, or 105, 106, 108 do not work unless they are heat activated. So I take my little burner and start it going. You can see here, as we warm it, the fluid color will change rather dramatically as it gets warm. Now this is similar to what we do inside the engine. The engine, we put it in the engine, we bring it up to operating temperature, and then that will start the process going. This is dispersant chemistry. Look at the change already. A little bit of agitation. But when you're running this in the engine, the engine agitation is moving the oil around through the system. We are then also with the transmission, we're running it through the gears, so we're starting the cleaning process going. We normally run this for about 10 minutes. Okay? We have to do it a little faster in the demonstration because if I had to sit there warming this for 10 minutes, I would lose my audience very, very quickly. So I'm using a more concentrated form and we're adding a little more direct heat to it to make it happen quickly. But this is all we've got to do. We heat the product. The product will now break down the oil and sludge that's in there and the carbon. But it will break it down into particulate form so that it will not re-plug the filter as it goes around. If we use alcohols, they will clean up that bearing, but then it redeposits back inside the system again as the alcohol evaporates off. You notice, even with heat, this still stays there. Okay? So let's say we've done our 10 minutes now of cleaning. I've added a generous amount of heat to this. Now all you've got to do is take your little magnet. It's strong enough. We pull out the bearing. And we place it on the plate. Be careful. Surprisingly, 
it's hot. Okay, you don't want to burn yourself. So there is your nice, clean, shiny engine or transmission or power steering. All of the deposits that came off of this bearing surface have now been picked up by our fluid in here. But look how clean that test tube is. There's no deposits left in that test tube. It's all absorbed into the fluid. So now when I drain the oil out, it comes out with the oil. Or you can use this in co combination with the 9800 tool and then we will take out an extra 200 milliliters of oil sludge that follows on, okay, if you want a completely clean engine. But you'll be amazed at how clean your engine comes just by using 109, okay? Let me show you. There's our engine. If you do this with 109 in a, in a car, I recommend that you do a compression test first on the car. 109 will work on the hard deposits around the ring as well. So now we're going to clean up all the soft deposits and the hard deposits. There's my engine that's left inside. There's the bearing surfaces. Which one works best for you?